welcome back to Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us once again. Today, final episode on the adult cardiac arrest patient. And in fact, today's episode is about cardiac arrest patients in general because I've had a request from someone to share with you my big tips on how to communicate to patients' families after they've passed away in this cardiac arrest setting. So I'll share with you my big tips. Now the first tip I've already talked about in prior episodes and that is that you need to start this communication off early in the treatment flow. And the earliest you can start that is when you walk through the door and actually introduce yourself to the patient or the patient's family. So that kicks off the communication. Then obviously we're communicating throughout the treatment flow to keep the family on the same page as us to let them know what's going on for the patient. So that's the first big point, communicate early. Second big point is you always need to use layman's terms with members of the public or members of the community. And that's because the assumption from a member of the community is that if they see CPR being done on someone, that in their mind is linked to a good clinical outcome for the patient. So it will be a surprise then if you go to the patient's family and say they've passed away. So what I always like to say is I like to actually outline to them that the patient's heart's not beating that the patient's not breathing, that we're breathing for them. And I like to give them a time frame and tell them how long that's been happening for. And that really then starts sinking in, or the, the clinical state of the patient starts sinking in for the family. They start realising, oh, oh no, maybe, maybe my loved one's going to pass away. So it starts preparing them and they can start uh, getting some of their defences up if they need them up to cope with this bad news that might be coming their way. So it's really important to use layman's terms whenever we're communicating about a resus situation to members of the public or family members. So that's really important. Third big piece of advice is to try and shadow a mentor if you get the opportunity. And uh, that just means that you can go with the mentor when they're breaking the news or they're communicating to the patient's family and you can look over their shoulder. And that just means that you can learn things that you might also say, you take things away from some of the phrases they've used and you can start developing some of your own scripts that you're really comfortable with uh, when you find yourself in these situations later on in your experience. So that's a really important thing to shadow a mentor. Finally, and one of the biggest points is you've got to stay present with this situation and, and you've got to show the, uh, the patient's family or loved ones that you are feeling their pain, that you, you, you're approaching the situation with, with empathy and you're not some emotionless, robotic paramedic that's come in just to try and resus their family and then you're going to leave. And um, the big take-home point is that bad news poorly communicated can be more traumatising than the actual event of losing a loved one. When you speak to experts in this field, people who are spending time around traumatised people and speak to different counsellors or social workers or psychologists, they say that the act of going and communicating poorly about a traumatic event can re-traumatise a patient's family or loved ones. So it's really important that we don't do that. Make sure you stay present with the family, make sure you show some empathy, and, uh, and that way they will, uh, they'll take the news well, they'll be able to support each other, and you'll be able to provide them with some, with some support as well. And, uh, and that means that at that stage, we're really, we're really focusing on treating those family members or friends as patients after our original patient has, uh, has passed away or has been deemed deceased. So in Paramedic Project, thanks for joining us once again. Hope it's been helpful. Find us on social media and we'll see you next time.